Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an Urbox Defense X Fire. Making its way throughout the interweb, people are starting to notice this handgun. It's a Glock pattern pistol with Glock mags and an aluminum frame. It also has some additional features on there that people are excited about for a budget price. You're looking at anywhere between three fifty to four and a quarter for this, and I mentioned it has Glock mags or Glock pattern mags. This is a Glock pattern mag. It's unbranded. Could be an aftermarket company making those or Ermax defenses. And then here is a Glock mag. All right, you can see Glock right there, and then a couple additional optic plates set to fit about. Eight different optics and all of its variants. Another unbranded mag. This is a cleaning kit in this tube here as well as a hex wrench. It also comes with red grips. So they offer a lot for a pretty attractive price. You're looking at, on the low end, right around $350. So there are some things I like about it. Some things I don't care for. I took it out shooting twice at Ryder's Range, and this is his gun. And it, it's, it's a decent looking and feeling gun, that's for sure. They all come optic ready there. True Glow rear sights that are fiber optic green and a red front sight. So the sight picture is pretty nice. It aligns well. You can see it has a cock striker indicator there. A aluminum frame with a full pick rail square trigger guard slight undercut there not much some texturing there cutouts in the slide overall pretty nice now the trigger pull is on the heavy side i am measuring that at a solid six and a half pounds so when you pull the trigger it is a bit of a pull there no over travel with a reset similar to Glock. Not bad. The one thing I noticed, one of the things I don't care for, is that it does pinch my finger. That tab, It for some reason, I've, I've shot several guns with that safety in there. But for some reason, this one just pinches after you shoot a full mag of 9mm. And that's what's chambered in, by the way. 9mm. Has that cutout right there. Cutouts in the slide. Looks pretty cool. Disassembles the same way. Rather tight barrel onto the slide. I'm going to show that. Some uh, slide serrations right here. Not bad for everything that it is that's offered with it. It's, it has a decent feel. Why am I not super crazy about this? Well, I already mentioned heavy trigger pull. It is priced right. I'm all for that. They do offer a lot and it's optic ready. So out of the case, there's not much you have to do with this. If you want the red grips, you can put the red grips in. They are polymer. Okay. Decent Overall ergonomics that cut out there as you grip this has a nice feel a little bit more heavier than your standard polymer nine millimeter handgun, but I did not shoot it well and, and the first time I took it out I shot it okay the second time which I recorded I did not shoot it well at all now that could be me that has happened before and then I take it out again I shoot it better so I'm putting that on me that uh, I just didn't settle into this gun as quick as I had hoped for but it is a bit on the heavy side let's go ahead and take a look at that and we'll get into the uh, the internals because something about that barrel into the slide it was uh, kind of tough to get out the unloaded weight you're looking at 29 and a quarter ounces let me grab a Glock mag because I have a Glock 19 here we're going to compare it 29 and a quarter unloaded glock 19 24 and an eighth so we're looking at approximately five uh, five ounces heavier okay now if you're into metal frame guns you'll certainly dig it 35 and 7 8 so right around 36 ounces loaded that is 16 rounds right there we'll put the glock on there and see if we still have that yeah we're still looking at five five and a half ounces lighter with the Glock but one thing I noticed when you disassemble this pistol okay we are unloaded one thing I'd like I will mention is that it has full-length frame rails and that's pretty cool 
that's a nice feature there and I like that and it has a captive dual recoil spring all metal so you, you get the benefit there and take that over a Glock and then getting this barrel out of the slide is a bit of a challenge it is tight see the way it wedges in there it doesn't offer much forgiveness and there I got it out maybe over time that'll change and then even to get it in it does it's not a smooth fit now it is machined fairly well okay you can see it's got the safety there everything looks pretty standard for the most part but getting this back into place is a bit of a challenge I like the full length frame rails though I think that is certainly a nice touch and then we have the dual captive recoil spring so 350 bucks a lot of people are raving about it they're saying it's a phenomenal handgun for the price and i'm sure these are people that shot the ermox x defense ermox defense x fire better than i did but overall not a bad looking handgun am i gonna go run out and try to get one of these for 350 i don't think so i just don't think so it's there's nothing wrong with it, and perhaps you'll shoot it better than I did. I just didn't settle into it very well. There's a look at the business end. I like the fiber optic sights. I like the optic ready. And they offer a couple additional plates, and that's nice. It's, you don't have to call the company and ask them to send you out plates. Decent feel. Pinches my finger. Heavy trigger pull. But it certainly fired everything that I put through it, and that's certainly a... A good characteristic for a budget gun and that's what it is it's a budget gun that is Glock patterned with an aluminum frame and all those additional accessories in the case with three 15 round mags a little bit more on the heavy side but that's what you get with a metal well aluminum frame which is metal pistol and you're going to get a heavier gun that a lot of people prefer they say yeah I'm, I'm sick of those poly nines Give me metal, and you can get that with the X-Fire Ermox, Ermox X-Fire Defense. That's kind of a mouthful. You have, to, you have to learn that before you actually get on video. But there it is. Let me know what you guys think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.